Hello everybody! In today's video I'll show you some magic experiments with an alternator. That is, I'll show you the easiest way of testing a diode pack without a multimeter, explain one of the main reasons of battery draining, and remove an alternator bearing without any special tool, after which my old puller will move to the recycle bin. Oh f together with the f recycle bin. Here I got an old barn find alternator from my previous car. I know for sure that it was removed from the car because its diode pack failed. It will hardly ever be installed into the car, so I can feel free and do to it everything I want and explain to you what do I do and why does it happen. You see, I don't lack like ideas for my videos. I lack like time for filming these ideas because I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet. I've got a full-time job to earn my living, but I can tell you for sure I've determined to become a full-time YouTuber which will significantly increase the quantity of videos on my channel. You can also help me in my efforts. I would be very grateful to you if you could just share this video to other drivers using any messenger, at least one of your friends who is driving a car, and I'll do my best to make this video really helpful for everybody. Ok, meanwhile I have taken the alternator apart and now I'll explain why I don't use this kind of puller for removing the bearing. The matter is that the slip rings on this end of the rotor can be easily dent with the puller screw. I don't think it is a good idea to get in trouble of replacing the slip rings when one can avoid this. So, this time the puller really goes to the recycle bin. I don't like the idea of prying the bearing with screwdrivers, because the screwdrivers can easily bend, they are short and do not provide a good lever to apply sufficient force. As for me, the best option to remove the bearing without any special tool is to pry it gently with two 17 or 19 mm wrenches. Nothing prevents you from doing it with three wrenches, if we have got ones. Just be careful and do not damage the slip rings or the wire winding of the stator. You see I pried the bearing with two wrenches and here it is. And the slip rings are also without any damages. Ok, now I'll proceed to the second magic part of this video. In fact, I filmed it before taking the alternator apart. Here I'll show you the easiest way of testing the diode pack condition and the battery parasitic drain. First of all, I connected the alternator to the battery just the way it is installed into the car. I hooked up the negative terminal of the battery to the alternator casing and connected the positive terminal of the battery right up to the positive output of the alternator. I tried to attach a 10 mm wrench to the pulley and you see it sticks to the rotor. Why does it happen? The matter is that alternator diodes are one-way valves which allow current flow only way from the alternator to the battery. If diode fails, even one diode, the battery voltage will flow back into the alternator and make a rotor wire winding work as a giant electromagnet. And if your alternator rotor assembly is constantly working as a giant electromagnet, this will cause parasitic drain of your battery. You see, as soon as I release the jaw, connection is lost and the range goes down. You can also easily check your alternator's diode pack condition without removing the alternator from the car. Just switch off the ignition and try to attach some 8 or 10 mm range to the pulley. You see, the range doesn't stick. So the diode pack of my car is working fine. I've even removed the plastic cap of the clutch pulley to make things clear. Nothing prevents the wrench from sticking to the rotor, but it doesn't. 